Yes, guys, welcome back to Flat Cap Euro Talk here, and we are going to be talking about Nawel Molina. Um, I feel like he could be this sort of kind of alternative option to Jed Spence, according to plenty of reports, especially from Matt Hayes, uh, saying that Spurs are leading the race uh, for Jed Spence. So if we are to get Jed Spence, maybe we could talk about someone that uh, Spurs could have taken a look at. I'm not saying should have, but maybe could have. And that is Nawel Molina, uh, the right wing back over at Udinese, Argentinian international. Uh, someone that has actually had a very kind of sneakily kind of productive season without anybody noticing. I haven't even noticed it, uh, to be fair. And I've only been ma- uh, kind of made aware of this guy via uh, Devadam Duda. So let's take a look at him. I'm learning about him for the first time. Uh, so let's see what Namuel uh, Molina has done this season. And if he were to come to Spurs, what he would bring or even just what type of player he is for us to look at in the future. Um from Argentina, of course, born in Balse, uh, Argentina, 24 years old, born 1998, uh, five feet, nine inches, uh, maybe on a bit of the shorter side, but not too short, uh, right footed, uh, right wing back. Uh, he plays as a kind of designated right wing back in that Udinese side kind of week in, week out this season. Uh, youth career was over at Boca Juniors. He's at nine million pounds, according to transfer mark that says evaluation and his contract goes up in 2026. Uh, in terms of the stats, I mean, <laughs> there it is, everybody. 35 matches played, seven goals and two assists. Um, pretty productive season for a 12th place uh, Udinese team and being a right wing back for a 12th place Udinese team. Very impressive. Uh, shots total. This is going to be comparing him to all fullbacks, by the way, from FB Ref. We're comparing him to all fullbacks in the Serie A. Not Europe's top five leagues, but in the Serie A. Um, he ranks in the top seventh percentile for shots total of all fullbacks. Uh, key passes completed in the top 18th percentile. Uh, crosses completed, you know, maybe in the 21st percentile. Okay, there. Uh, uh, shot creating uh, actions, a way of sh- uh, another way of kind of calculating maybe uh, a version of chances created. Uh, he's in the top 17th percentile there. Uh, players dribble pass, not too many players dribble pass per 90. And that maybe has to do with the fact that he doesn't have many touches per game. And that could have to do with the way that Udinese play. Maybe they just don't get very much of the ball. I'm not too sure. Uh, someone else can maybe inform me on that. I'll be honest. I'm going to hold my hand up and say I haven't watched too much of Udinese this season. Uh, successful pressure percentage. Uh, so this is the uh, percentage of any pressure that he puts in. So uh, when you do put in a pressure that can lead to, you know, the dispossession of a ball of your opponent. uh, And when that is uh, successful for him, that sort of pressure, it only happens 23% of the time. And that puts him in the bottom, bottom half of all fullbacks in the Serie A. Uh, Passes intercepted also kind of in the bottom half there. Uh, not too many per 90. So maybe some concerning stats defensively. Not too many good stats, I would say, in terms of also possession-wise. Like, didn't have uh, many progressive carries or anything like that. But again, that could just have to do with the fact that he doesn't have many touches, you know, uh, per game. Uh, but let's see what maybe someone like Nawel Molina could bring to Spurs. I have a feeling that maybe this guy uh, could surprise us. Some good, Some good progressive play there. He's actually a bit taller than I expected. Free kicks. Then he buries it as well. I mean, could this guy be taking free kicks for Spurs? Maybe that's where some of his goals have come from this season. Well, one there. A lot of defensive uh, kind of highlights in the beginning here. I mean, he has been more of a, and let's don't tell me this is another banger for him, left footed as well. Jesus. What's also really interesting, everybody, is uh, his average shot distance. Wow, that's another ridiculous finish. Uh, his his average shot distance, everybody, is actually from 20 yards out. Uh, usually, at least, you know, that's where it, what, what it averages out to be, which is pretty far away when you actually think about it. And with having that many goals, Seven goals and two assists. I mean, maybe his goals have just come from just bangers this season, I guess. I'm not sure. That is a delicious ball. There's another screamer. Great hesitation there. Oh, was. Lovely. Very good with that sort of like hesitation move. Looks like Spurs is all kits. 
well read there. Good tracking back by the man. Good hold up play. Showing a bit of strength. He's a lot taller than yeah, like he's at least in that case, he I don't know, yeah. He he he's a bit taller than five foot nine, at least by the looks of it to me. I don't think he would struggle too much, maybe in the air against somebody. Looks like Matty Cash's height. He didn't really have the greatest of defensive numbers, but I don't know. I, it's hard to say, like, really, if he is poor defensively. I just can't make a judgment on it. Like, uh, from what I'm seeing, he's he's not exceptional, but he's also by no means bad. But uh, I, I like at least, you know, his, his ability to shoot from distance so far. Definitely I'm liking. He's unbelievable with cutting inside like that. It works for him every time. It's a good pass. Well won. He's interesting. I, I do really like him, to be fair. I do really like him. It, it's tough. Like, comparing him versus Wilfred Singo here is, is really difficult because when, at least what I saw from Wilfred Singo is, Wilfred Singo is absolutely rapid, is an exceptional ball carrier, an exceptional dribbler, but maybe lacks that sort of, like, final end product, maybe lacked that, you know, kind of that killer pass, uh, whereas maybe Molina is someone that does offer that killer pass, does offer maybe that, uh, sort of goal and assist and that goal contribution, especially in that right wing back position, which he's so familiar with. Both him and Singo were both are both familiar in that position. I know Judd Spence is recently too. Um, but with maybe again, you have to consider I know Judd Spence coming into this team, it seems like kind of maybe a deal that sort of makes sense for Spurs. It's just I do want to think about like could Judd Spence really walk straight into this first team? And then as well, like is he someone that Spurs can get maybe close to eight, nine goal contributions uh, out of in that right wing back position, like maybe Molina has gotten uh, for, for Udinese because seven goals and two assists. I mean, flip that around, you know, two goals, seven assists, four goals, five assists, however you get, you know, uh, however many, you know, that's exactly what we're probably looking for. Maybe from our fullback, you know, even in all competitions, I think that would is that the bare minimum to ask? I think that could be the bare minimum to ask is, you know, nine goal contributions in all competitions because at the, the, the wingbacks, they, there's so much asked of them, but I, I'm starting to notice that it feels like what Conte that a huge part of it really is, you know, uh, being able to go forward. And that's how we've been sort of exploited by teams. It's just not being able to break down teams with uh, killer crosses, being able to beat their man uh, on the ball and whatnot, being able to kind of take, uh, you know, the threats uh, from out wide more seriously because most teams just didn't really honor the threat that we had out wide. Is Molina going to be better out wide in those sort of areas than someone like a Singo or a Spence? You maybe can make that case. You know, he could provide that killer ball. Uh, he also, again, though, like he could cut inside, have it have a banger. You know, uh, he can maybe pop into the box and score. Like maybe he has a better chance of scoring than the other two. Uh, so he is someone probably to consider. I am actually quite impressed um, with his delivery into the box. I'm very impressed just with his finishing in general. I think it's actually almost like strikers ask, like even right there, that's a ridiculous left footed finish for a <laughs> right wing back. Um, so, yeah, I'm curious. I'm very, very curious as to what uh, someone like a Molina could bring to this team. I really am. Because is he maybe is he maybe a better option than a Singo? Is he a better option uh, than a Dumfries? He looks interestingly better. He's not like his eye catching, but at the same time, you have to look at like what he's done, you know, with this Udinese team, a 12th place team that uh, that is a ridiculous finish. You have to look at like what this guy has done with a 12th place team. I mean, a, a pretty average mid table Syria side, and you, you can't take that away from him. And so maybe look at, what he's done in comparison to someone like a Singo and probably overrides someone like a Singo. Maybe you do go after 
uh, Molina. In terms of Jed Spence, though, we are leading the race for him. Doesn't mean that we'll sign him, but I do probably expect us to sign him, I'll be fair. Uh, so you could treat maybe this Molina scout report as someone that maybe Spurs are going to continue to take a look at, perhaps could still get, maybe if they replace Emerson, um, but as well, uh, just someone that we could just think about as an alternative had maybe we not gotten Jed Spence. I do love that move that he takes it inside every time. To be fair, Emerson has been doing the same. That is his finishing is absolutely ridiculous. I must say absolutely absurd. He should be playing center mid. He should be playing striker. Some of his striking of the ball is unreal. Beautiful strength shown there too. against Inter. He's so good at cutting inside like that. And he makes these good runs in behind. He's, he's absolutely deadly finisher. I'm that's that's the key attribute we can take from this guy. Absolutely deadly finisher. There you are, everybody. Now well Molina. I mean, tell me what you think in the comments down below. An interest he 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 gave me something to think about. I think that's like the compliment that I could probably give him. You know, gave me something to think about. I thought he was dangerous. You know, he's the best finisher of all the wingbacks that we've looked at. Um, I do think, you know, maybe Singo is probably a better ball carrier. Jed Spence, of course, has the homegrown, you know, kind of element that he brings into it. Um, I feel like nobody rated Dumfries, so maybe we just don't talk about him. Yoki Mela, we've never been linked with. Um, so when you do look at it, uh, Ridley Baku, sadly, not linked with as well. So when you do look at it, Nawa Molina is someone I think Spurs should take a look at if we haven't already. Uh, could bring something kind of different uh, than maybe the likes of a Jed Spence or a Singo. And I would say the main attribute of his that really did pop out to me is that finishing. And it really was exceptional. And I will be looking forward to seeing uh, wherever he plays next season because he is going to be out the door. So uh, Fabrizio Romano is saying uh, Udinese's president or director of football, I believe, saying uh, that they are going to find it very hard to keep a hold of him this summer with so many big clubs interested so maybe spurs one of those big clubs interested but as always everybody do hit that like button on your way out and do check out all the other videos especially we do have a playlist on right wing backs so there is no excuse uh to, to not check that out especially while we're looking at uh all the the right wing backs to replace apparently matt darty or emerson but everybody hit that like button on your way out and i will be seeing you